Let's say I need to find a percent of problems, so especially dealing with budgets. I make $2,400 a month in my income. 450 goes toward rent a month, so I want to figure out what percent of my budget goes toward rent. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a formula where I have part over base is equal to percent over 100. The part is going to be the piece that you pay the base is going to be the total amount of your income and then you always have a hundred on the right hand side here because percent means out of a hundred. From my previous slide I know that I can substitute in the numbers for where they need to go in the place. 450 is the part that I pay. 2400 is the total amount that I receive for income. So I have plugged in the numbers into my equation. To keep this simple, I'm going to teach you a method that I use. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cross multiply the numbers that you have. For instance, the two numbers across from each other are 450 and 100. So I'm going to multiply 450 times 100. Remember, whenever you multiply by 100, essentially what you're doing is adding two zeros to the back of your number. So this becomes 45,000. Okay, so that's step one. Step two then is to take that amount and divide by what's left over. And what's left over is my 2400. So I take 45,000, I divide by 2400. Now the cool thing about division with zeros is that you can cancel off any zero on the back for a zero together. So I could take off these two zeros and I could take off those two zeros. Once I cancel off my zeros, this becomes a much easier problem to manage. Now it's 24 into 450. I can do those math problems. So I have to realize then, how many times can 24 go into 45? Well, I know that 2 times 2 is 4, so that's going to get me pretty close, but I think that's going to be too big, so it's just going to go in once. I subtract and I end up with 21 left over. So now I bring down the remaining 0 and I have to ask myself how many times can 24 go into 210? I'm going to guess it can go in off to the side. I'm going to try 9 times and see if I get close or not. 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 21. Oh, it's too big by 6. So I've got to do my math off to the side and do 24 times 8. That leaves me with 192. So this 8 goes up here because I'm multiplying 8 times 24 to get 192. I subtract. I'm going to have to borrow. That leaves me with 18. Now I've used all my numbers but I can't leave a remainder so what I can do is put a decimal point and I, once I put a decimal point in I can buy as many zeros as I want. So I bring down my zero and now it's 24 into 180. So 2 goes into 18 9 times. I'm gonna go 24 times 8 and do my math and see what I get. I've already done my work for the 24 times 8 and that's 192 so that's too big. So I'm going to do my work and do 24 times 7, which comes out with 168. So that's the one that I'm going to use up here. All right, 168. I'm going to borrow and subtract, and that leaves me with 12. Now I can continue this problem out, but I don't really need to because the directions tell you to round to the nearest whole number. So when I'm rounding and I have the number 18.7, if this is the whole number, this is the number that I look at for rounding. So because that is a 5 or higher, it bumps this 8 up to a 9. So I spend 19% of my income on my rent.